Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install LibreOffice 6.2 which is the latest version. So we'll open up our web browser and we'll go to Google and we'll type in LibreOffice and we'll click on this link here LibreOffice.org that will take us to this website and then we're going to download and install the latest version LibreOffice 6.2. So there's some new features here featuring a new tool uh, the notebook bar so I'll explain what that is we'll click the green download button right here and then we get the option to download the latest version here this is the slightly older version so we'll stick with the latest version there's a drop down menu here you've got all the Linux distributions here you've got Mac OS as well then you've got Windows x86 which is Windows 32-bit machine and you've got Windows x86 64 which is 64-bit machine processor so let's work out let me show you how to work out which one you have if you go to the search here and type in system and then click on system here when this loads up you'll see that you have the system type 64-bit operating system x64 based processor so 64-bit is really the most important here so if it says 32 here or 64 so my one says 64 so what I will do is select the 64 here if it says 32-bit on your machine you would select the one above 32-bit for this one 64 for this one so I'm going to click 64 and then click download and we just put this to the side and I'm going to open up this folder it's 285 megs so it will take a few seconds to download Okay, let's finish downloading. So I'm going to drag and drop that file into this folder and then I'm going to double click to start the installation. And LibreOffice will present you with this information. So let's just see what it says here. So it says next. So we'll click next. We're going to do a typical installation. So we'll click next. And then it's asking me if I want to create a shortcut on my desktop. As you can see, my desktop never has shortcuts. So I'll never do that. And I don't want LibreOffice to load up when I start my machine, I want to select the applications that I want when I want to use them. So I leave these two unticked. I'm going to click install. And I'm going to click to install. Now it's saying that there's some other services that are running on my machine. So really it's talking about the screen recorder. So I have to stop the screen recorder temporarily and then uh, we can continue the installation. So I'm going to click this option here, close applications and attempt to restart them. I'm going to click OK. So I'm going to continue uh, this file installation here. OK, so LibreOffice is finished installing. We'll click Finish. It says you must restart your system for the configuration changes to take effect. Click Restart now. Uh, we'll, we'll say no for now because I'm going to restart my machine manually. Okay, so to complete the installation, I had to reboot my computer, just like LibreOffice asked me to do so. So when we go to the Start menu, we can scroll down here and we should see uh, LibreOffice 6.2. And we see all the different applications. You've got Spreadsheets, you've got Draw, you've got Impress, which is like a PowerPoint presentation. You've got this Math module, you've got Writer. So normally what I would do is drag and drop these into this folder. They're saying they're already pinned, right? So here you can see them. Here you've got Draw, Writer, uh, Impress, which is like PowerPoint, this is like Microsoft Word, and this is like Excel. So let's open up the Word version, which is Writer, it's like Microsoft Word. And there's a couple of things in here that I've noticed that are new. So the main thing here really is the View option, and then User Interface, and then Tabbed. So when we click this, we get these Tabbed options here, and everything is grouped into sections rather than the traditional sort of um, you know the, the traditional interface as, as it was before so if we go over to file here you see all the file options over here rather than them being at the top up of the top here like before and we've got a few different options here that you can experiment with I prefer this tabs option it's kind of easier to to understand like all the different settings you've also still got the toolbar on the side here like in the previous um, um, version of LibreOffice so you can still use the toolbar down the side here and you've got the options for the different 
settings down the side here. So I've done tutorials on LibreOffice Writer. I've already done tutorials on this, so I'll put a link in the YouTube description if you want to learn about LibreOffice, create documents, format documents, create headers and footers, and all this good stuff with LibreOffice Writer. I'll put some links in the YouTube description. I'll also put some links to LibreOffice Calc as well. So that's the spreadsheet version of this, uh, this software. We'll have a quick look at that as well. So we'll open up LibreOffice Calc. And here you can see it's just like a spreadsheet application, a lot like Microsoft Excel. I'm not sure if you can do tabbed views in this one as well. You can as well, so that's pretty cool. We've got tabbed views in here as well. So, um, check the links in the YouTube description for tutorials on LibreOffice Calc and LibreOffice Writer. I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.